Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. My beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. Aries, so if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, is through the comments. As well, Aries, remember, uh, I would always be appreciative of it if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe. Uh, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, it's completely free to do. And I always appreciate it when you guys do that extra step to support me in that way because it does help out a lot. Uh, remember to use your intuition when it comes to receiving these readings, Aries, because put it in perspective. I believe my tarot readings here, my weekly horoscopes are just here today to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider. Never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, and not these tarot cards. So, all that being said, Aries, let's get into your reading. I want to see where it is that you guys are currently at. What is the energy that you are currently feeling right now, Aries? Ask that question, honey. Oh, I might be off camera for a moment because I have to get this card because the moment I asked it, Aries, a card went flying. <sighs> six of air all right so this is the six of swords in normal tarot aries so i'll read off the card for you this card says things are looking up the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip so right now aries you probably are in this place of uh putting distance uh between you yourself and a situation or a mindset even maybe you guys you know we will always just naturally because i wouldn't be valka if i wasn't just taking this in a more optimistic way aries where you guys are in this you know when you guys are overcoming like depression for example aries uh you're just going through the motions of something right maybe nothing is even all that uh life shattering for you but you know you're just going through the phases of life you're going through most of the uh, emotions and so right now aries that's probably what it is that you're going through is just like you know for some of you guys you might be even looking in the mirror right lately aries and you're just like oh or what's going on with you aries like are you depressed right that's you talking to yourself because i do feel like uh you aries have been catching yourself talking to yourself for a while uh because i keep on seeing an aries like looking in the mirror i mean this could be that you guys are just really into your looks right now honey but i'm taking this more so like you guys are just like looking at yourself in the mirror and just being like uh like trying to figure yourself out right because i feel as if even for you aries uh you're kind of confused at how you're feeling right so let's get a little bit more detail on this uh i'm gonna use this deck actually continue using it but then i'm gonna switch to my black and gold one because i feel like some of my aries want to see that black and gold one so what's going on for you right now aries what is the team let's see if we can get any more detail on the six of air these cards are just going crazy as well, Aries. I don't know if things have just been not working out for you guys randomly, Aries. I know this is like such a cop out, but like <laughs> I have big hands and like I've been handling this deck in specific all ease, like for well over a year now. And so it's like for me to just have so many issues handling some tarot cards right now, it gives me the sensation that maybe perhaps you guys are like dealing with a bunch of just like resistance as well. So let's get these clarifiers in. Okay, so we have the Magician card in the reverse, the Strength card in the reverse, Aries, as well as the World card uh, coming in here. Interesting dynamic. Uh, definitely you guys are in this place, Aries. You're doubting your capabilities. There's some level, I don't know if y'all are going through some imposter syndrome right now. Um, maybe some of you guys are catching yourself going into bad habits again that you used to go into. Uh, definitely heavily seeing this in a way for some of you Aries. I'm getting two different ways. One, I do feel like some of you Aries are dabbling in old addictions again whether that's like a food addiction right maybe you are like catching yourself being like you know you started out being like all right this is going to be my cheat weekend and that cheat weekend has now turned aries into something a little bit longer right a cheat month <laughs> right a cheat year um coming in here for other you aries they're like 
I feel like you guys were feeling pretty strong, pretty motivated for a little bit, but then that sort like that energy faded, right? With this magician card in the reverse. This is again what I'm feeling, Aries, of where it's like, uh, it does feel like some of you guys are catching yourself in like the, this old pattern, getting these old ways, and there's like this sense of frustration in yourself even, because I feel like you acknowledge it as the world card in the upright. The world card coming in the upright, it shows to me you see this as a cycle coming back in, but perhaps uh, you guys don't know how to quite handle that. Right, maybe you guys are just at this place of feeling like a loss. Um, I almost just knocked down my black tourmaline log here, so maybe some of you Aries need to start working with some uh, a black stone, perhaps. Really, just have like an outlet, perhaps, is something that I'm hearing, Aries, where you can just, you know, this could be an energy of like venting to a friend or like just sinking all your energy into like a black tourmaline, right? Finding something, I get, I just feel like you guys, Aries, need an outlet. Uh, we are not holding on to everything so much. Uh, you know, getting yourself out of your head a little bit. Um, let's see here. I want to know what deck I want. We'll use this Oracle deck here. Let's see what animal card comes forward for this situation. Mm -mm. So we have the polar bear card. Standing up for yourself and speaking your truth respectfully and compassionately with no... Uh, attachment to the outcome. So Aries, this is one of those uh, tough conversations that I feel like you kind of have to have with yourself of where you kind of ask yourself the question of being like, what is it that you want out of life? What is that that you yourself are trying to accomplish even, Aries? I feel like you uh, are able to acknowledge the cycles that you might be in, but oops. Oh, <laughs> I'm like trying to show up the light here. Oh, Oh, honey, you know, I'm going to just keep this in Aries just because I was getting self-conscious because I feel like I'm a little bit too dark and I wanted y'all to see me properly, but I'm going to keep all that in. <laughs> um, but yeah, Aries, I do feel as if uh, y'all need to have a tough love conversation with yourself with being like, all right, where do I want to go in life, right? Um, and uh, truthfully, maybe for some of you, Aries, like there's this resistance towards uh, perhaps you start have feeling the use words right i'm getting a little bit jumbled now aries perhaps you've been feeling a little bit more insecure right and so then you've been dabbling into because i do feel like a sense of insecurity with the magician card being inverted for you aries so it's like you're doubting yourself and doubting your capabilities right maybe it's been a little bit of a rough patch for you aries maybe you were going through some a really good high for a moment and now you're just in a place of where it's like Maybe not necessarily feeling a bunch of lows right now, but uh, nothing is popping off right now. Nothing really exciting, uh, dramatic or colorful is happening for you right now. So maybe that's what's going on for you where it's like getting in your head a little bit. And so as that polar bear card, I feel like you need to have that hard look in the mirror with yourself, Aries, and be like, all right, well, why do I have X insecurity, right? Um, Maybe because I feel like, again, you're able to acknowledge this with that world card area. So I feel as if let's just say the narrative of insecurity and you acknowledge that insecurity is what's holding you back. Right. Because the six of air is really implying to me, Aries, that um, you are putting a little bit of distance between like where it is that you've been trying to go um, a little bit. I feel like you can kind of feel it yourself that you might be backtracking a little bit. But all that being said, let's just continue on with your reading, Aries. I want to get into uh, what's this week going to start looking like, right? What can we, how is this going to start panning out for you, Aries, as you work through these motions, right? Let's see what's going on. Queen of Fire. So you definitely break out of this, Aries. But with the Queen of Fire or the Queen of Wands, naturally, Aries, that's a, the Queen of Fire is someone who is a self-starter, right? Someone who is extremely motivated, who makes the choice themselves to uh, leave the nest, if you will. So let me read off, read off this card for you. This card says, stretching your wings and flying, don't underestimate and underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity. So again, Aries, there's just this strong sense of asking you to get out of your head, to allow yourself to 
just create, right? Never, because in this, there's this theme here, especially with the polar bear card of where it's like, I feel like you're kind of dimming your light a little bit. It feels as if like some of you Aries, and maybe this is, gonna, I'm going to piss some of y'all off, but I mean, whatever. Um, it feels like some of you guys have lost, you would even uh, agree on some level that you've lost your spark a little bit. And so it's almost like you're almost embarrassed of the spark that you first initially have been chasing after. And so now because of this like slight embarrassment or maybe imposter syndrome again, I feel like there's just this uh, resistance of really allowing yourself to spread your wings and truly expressing yourself um, and truly allowing your truths and feelings and thoughts and just your vulnerable side uh, to be heard and to be seen and to be felt. Uh, I feel like that's your biggest struggle right now, Aries, is maybe this sense of um, lacking an outlet for vulnerability. Now keep in mind at this point, Aries, like I wanna just keep this in check, right? Like at that point, this is me just intuitively speaking, just because I'm thinking back on the uh, what I felt drawn to with this black tourmaline log of where I'm suggesting for you guys to have like an outlet to express yourself. I feel like you guys are just, you need to get out of your head. And the only way to get out of your head is by doing something, because maybe I see some of you areas even trying to, already right even with this taking a trip i feel like you should do something different spice it up from how you usually would overcome certain things i feel like there's a reason as to why uh it's just hard for you to just transition i feel like the resistances that you're dealing with right now are resistances trying to force you in a state of vulnerability right and <laughs> right at some point right you know you're going to be forced to be vulnerable uh aries if you have a struggle with you know asking for help right uh, you know, maybe if you ch choose not to ask for help, then the Spirit's going to keep on presenting a bunch of obstacles. Because I did remember, talk about Aries, how you maybe right now you've just been dealing with some a bunch of just like inconveniences because of how I kept messing and holding the cards. Um, maybe this is uh, like your lesson. It's like if you don't ask for help, Spirit's going to keep on bringing those obstacles to you until you do, right? Until you practice that vulnerability. Uh, but I feel like it's just heavily, well... Especially with that air card, may, I feel like a lot of this is like a mental thing and like imposter syndrome and just, I don't know. Let's get some clarifiers though for this Queen of Fire. See what uh, details we have. So let me just stop running them out on this, honey. What's going on here? All right, yeah. So remember, keep in mind, Aries, this is what the uh, how things are going to start coming out. Right? You know, keep in mind as well, we were talking about how I feel like you needed some type of outlet. So the cards coming in here, the Justice card uh, comes into play, the Two of Pentacles, as well as the Magician card. Now this is interesting, Aries, because now keep a note, like we had it inverted for you before, but now the Magician card coming in the upright for how things happen. And notice again, as I was saying, the Queen of Fire is this self-initiator. Does that make sense? And same thing with the magician is the one who both of them are very hands-on, right? Now, oops. <laughs> now it comes in the message, interestingly though, I say Aries, because the Justice card and the Two of Pentacles, both of these cards talk about a sense of like balance and this sense of weighing out options. So, I'm going to pull some extra cards here, Aries, so I can get a little bit more of an idea on what this is talking about. Let's see here. Nine of Cups in the reverse. So this is going back again to vulnerability, Aries, in terms of like emotional fulfillment, right? Um, it does definitely feel as if... Is it like a because with the nine of cups, this is usually dealing with like the self, right? And like how, like the things and actions that you are doing that are making you feel fulfilled in life. And because it's with this queen of wild or queen of wands, yeah, the magician card, it's from this place of creation and passion as well, right? There's something out of balance here. I don't know if you just haven't allowed yourself, Aries, to just tap into your creativity more. But um, yeah, let's get another card. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Two of Wands. Hmm. It feels like, Aries, you don't know what your next move is. And I feel like that's what scares you. 
I feel like that does is what intimidates you. That is what scares you. But I feel as if this intimidation, this fear only comes in because you don't know your next move because you're not allowing yourself the full capability of what you like allowing your potential to shine through right you educate these you well, let's just say you entertain these scenarios of like if you were to do this route if you were to do this if you were to reach out to this person if you were to try out this passion right it feels as if you don't give yourself a fighting chance you don't acknowledge like your strong suit because you experience that imposter syndrome for whatever reason your insecurities or what have you i feel like that's what's stopping you so, uh, yeah, I'm going to now pull some cards, Aries, on what's going on for your career and financial situation, as well as later on, we'll get into your love and social situations. But we're going to be starting with your financial now. Nine of Water came flying out. So this is the Nine of Cups. Uh, so right off the bat, I'll read off the card for you. The, your wish is coming true. Concerns fade away in a love life. So when it says love life in here, I feel as if this is more so an association with another energy uh, for this, more so than anything else, because keep in mind, this is attached to your financial. So I feel as if like social connections right now, people coming, there's someone in your life right now that could be, or maybe coming up, but I feel like it's just because of the wordage version you just said now i feel like there's someone in your space now that you could potentially do something with. but before i run my mouth more let's get some clarifiers for this okay so what we have here uh for you aries i flipped these two cards over uh these are technically inverted i want to show you the artwork of them uh we have the king of swords as well as the page of wands in the reverse attached to this nine of water or your nine of cups paired with the ten of wands in the upright so this is your issue aries you have potentials of people to connect with and to do uh further projects with right stuff that you actually that would actually fulfill you right let's say like you know like i don't want to even speak too boldly on that because i feel like it looks like my analogy would just get lost in the translation of it but it's almost as if like you know you don't want to let's just say no i don't want to do an analogy it just feels as if you have the potential to work with somebody but maybe it's because like you're that king of swords being in the reverse in the page of wands you always will hold yourself back and not speak of like a passion that you have whether it's because of your own embarrassment or speak like the entertain the idea of being like you know what what if we were to do this what if we were to try this out right and I feel like because of that Ten of Wands coming up, I feel like that's your baggage. That's what's holding you back. And that's why you're not progressing as quickly as you might have liked to progress in your life right now. If I were, if I were to be as bold to say that, Aries. So, yeah. I'm going to now get into your social and love situations this week, right, uh, Aries? Because we have more than just romantic situations in our life, right? So I don't want to just limit it to love. So we have the Six of Earth or the Six of Pentacles coming in here for you. Gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, and paying off a loan or debt. Uh, it's interesting that you have this attached to your social where it's talking about new career opportunities. And what I was just saying from before uh, in your financial and career situation, Aries. So I do feel strongly that there is someone here in your current space. Notice it's the same theme of balance as well uh, coming up again. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, I do want to switch decks. Let's use, uh, we're going to use this deck now, Aries, for this. So let's get some clarifiers on this situation. Let's get some clarifiers on this person. <clears throat> All right. So Ace of Wands in the reverse. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Ah. And this is your issue, Aries. You're so resistant towards bringing anything new into your life, any type of new contract, any type of new collaboration into your life, Aries, because of this bad boy right here, 
in this Ten of Cups. Now, y'all gonna let me know in the comments below what this is about because I want y'all to type it out to me and explain to me why it is you're gonna be so resistant, why you're so choosing to be so resistant towards welcoming in new opportunity, quite literally, right? This Ten of Cups very could easily be like a situation where you have trust issues because of with this Ten of Cups in the reverse. I feel like you guys have a pretty maybe in the past you had a pretty hoarded uh family history maybe like you're kind of used to being portrayed right maybe just like because with the ten of cups i usually associate this with like family like your close personal cir circle and with it being the reverse there's just this strong uh repulsion to this right and so i feel like that's what's stopping this again uh, maybe that's part of the reason what fuels why you don't ever reach out to people because for that collaboration that we were talking about because of just some level of distrust, right? I want to get some more clarifiers for this Ten of Cups though. Page of Wands upright, Knight of Wands upright with the, is this, yeah, King of Swords in the reverse. Aries, truly, speak ya up. <laughs> all your cards, including your Animal Oracle card, are all talking about speaking up, Right? you have such a wonderful opportunity here notice you keep on having fiery cards like your element passions here honey right all the passions here but it does no good to have all this strong passion aries if you're not willing to speak your truth if you're always just too in your head too insecure to ever say anything and say what it is that you're feeling and expressing yourself especially right because even if there's nothing or no one to, in specific to communicate with aries just off the sheer level of just not willing to speak your truth and allowing your flame to just burn brightly and have it and be okay with having it be authentically seen that is in of itself doing a disservice to you and probably is what's feeding into this heaviness energy maybe a level of depression that you're feeling right so Hopefully I didn't step on too many toes uh, on you, Aries. Uh, I hope you found this reading helpful on some level. If you did, let me know in the comments below which card resonated and how it did. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Aries, I do weekly horoscope readings for all the zodiac signs, not just yours. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not honey, send them my video. Maybe we'll find a message that resonates with them. Until next time, I love you so much, Aries.